these, all quite different, all independent. He thought any of them could uh, stand or fall on their own and not wreck the others. The verbal hallucinations, and some of you are going to talk about that, so I won't even dwell on that, that uh, somehow these verbal hallucinations control behavior in early humans. Uh, they call that a preposterous hypothesis. He was quite uh, uh, realizing people were not going to just buy all this, uh, so he was willing to take criticism. If I were to revise that today, um, the big thing is the timing. Uh, uh, Morris Berman, an anthropological writer, um, wrote a critique that he, about James. He actually liked most of what he said. Uh, what he uh, had to say is, uh, although I believe James' dating of these events is very much off in places in 13. 100 to 900 BC, his description of this new consciousness is one of the best I've come across. Um, Urban himself goes on to characterize the new mentality as one involving goal orientation or planning death, along with the increasing evidence of personal adornments and burial traditions. That's the eye coming out here somewhere. Uh, uh, this, he says, I've been speaking of consciousness as a human product, an ability that is learned in history in order to cope behaviorally in a civilized world. What is it? Well, these are just some ideas from him. Consciousness is what is introspectable in our conscious mind. It's a spatial analog of the world, and mental acts are analogs of bodily acts. And it's all generated by metaphor, on the basis of language. It seems to me, this is not me speaking, all that James, James is doing is describing a representational mind with language as the mode of access and control, a language-based operating system for the mind. If, if, if people read that today, it's fairly non-controversial. Um, OK. Uh, and I, I, without all the other stuff, everybody would say, of course, that's true. Uh, you know, that, that's one of the things today, when you find people talking like this, uh, they often don't reference the idea because it's almost through common knowledge. You know? uh, of course, we don't really know how it works, but the idea that that description fits isn't too bad. So here's the spirit. Uh, this was my favorite quote that really you know, gives, uh, I think, a feeling for it. I shut my eyes and even if I try not to think, consciousness still streams on great rivers of contents in a succession of different conditions, which I have been taught to call thoughts, images, Memories, interior dialogues, regrets, wishes, resolves, all interweaving with the constantly changing pageant of exterior sensations which I am selectively aware of. Um, that looks like a very good description of mind wandering. If you've read Science Magazine over the last couple of years, there's a lot of papers on mind wandering. Uh, Radley points out that the brain uses a lot of energy even when not engaged in the environment, what he calls the default network. Intrinsic activity instantiates the maintenance of information for interpreting, responding to, and even predicting environmental demand. So basically, the experiments that they've done, you do some dumb task in the uh, fMRI you know, and see what your brain's doing. And then they tell you to relax. And then uh, they see what your brain's doing. And there's some parts are lighting up when the stimuli are coming in. Other parts are lighting up when you're sitting there doing nothing. But you're not really doing nothing because you're daydreaming. And they probe the people and ask them what they're doing, and they say, oh, I was thinking about blah, blah, blah. Uh, um, using both thought sampling and brain imaging, they demonstrated that mind wandering is associated with activity in a default network of cortical regions that are active when the brain's at rest. Um, and this develops. You know, you're not bored with this. It takes to be about like, 9, 10, or 11. When language is really, this really sort of setting, I think. Yeah. If I had more time, I'd talk more about the details of this. Um, regions of the default network have been more specifically related to the internal narrative, the autobiographical self, stimulus independent thought, mentalizing, and most recently, self projection. All these people could be uh, essentially studying James and trying to put it into a uh, modern context, but none of them ever recite him. It's just the progression of the science. 